Oh boy, 9 p.m. So it's gonna be nightly. First thing first, the name is the LUI. Secondly, the game is the game of bodybuilding. Thirdly, <laughs> thirdly, Mr. Olympia, more or less, five days out, more or less, prejudging. Anyway, uh, as you guys know, yesterday this thing happened. The freaking Boo Bunder posted this most muscular pose, absolutely saturated, absolutely out of this world, absolutely disrespecting the gift that he received. In a sense, that necklace, the necklace is family possession since centuries, baby, please. He's about to explode it. No salute upon thee. But, uh, listen, it's very eventful of a picture. And uh, talking about eventful pictures, we have one right right now. I'm going to show it right to you in a few. It's Dallas McCarver, right? Now, as you guys know, dude right here being out angled is Mr. Big Grammy, right? I made it a little bit bigger so you can appreciate the very death face right he is absolutely having the death mask uh you know uh as you guys know i'm in contact with the team of big Grammy, so i know what's up quite clearly uh tell you what uh the the challenge or the the bet actually they're they're doing this year uh, well it's in las vegas right so it's the you know it's sin city so it's the city of bets they're betting of a lighter version of big Grammy. if you guys recall resembling that of his uh, debut in the new york pro back in the day right he was a little bit smaller he was exactly 285 back then i, I do not know what weight he will have on stage but it's around those waters so 285 right definitely not the biggest guy on stage i mean look at him definitely smaller than the last showing right i've just read the magazine of his ex i mean an interview of his ex um, guru namely george farah that Lebanese baby please said, bro, uh, Big Grammy should bring his Prague, uh, Prague condition. He was big in Prague. He was very big in Prague. In my reckoning, the best shape of his life. And he has beaten back then Dennis Wolf and Sean Roden, two of the top guys. So he's pretty much like number three in the world, right? But uh, this year, obviously, he's choosing a different path. We'll see how it goes. We'll see if that will be a success or if he will be out-muscled uh, by the competition. Just to remind you how he looks like uh, real quick, this was pretty much the last picture, right? He has done this for his GAT photo shoot. So needless to say, he looks smaller uh, than before. We'll see how it goes. Good luck for, for Big uh, big Grammy. As I mentioned too, there is an eventful picture right here, five days out in the morning. So uh, depleted in the sense of Mr. Dallas freaking mccarver aka dorian yates on on juice in a sense really from the front i mean he's just bigger thicker 24 year old this 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 uh, this humongous male uh, specimen right here everything is on point one of you said bro he only needs to add some calves i mean these calves are absolutely dorian yes they're greeny they're low they're just uh, crazy. His genetics are absolutely loyal. And he's not out of the oven as of yet. If you guys follow bodybuilding, usually young guys tend to grow at first uh, in the arms. The arms have a lot of receptors of, of creatine, if you guys know what I mean. Same goes with the shoulders and the rest of the body, especially the back, will follow with, with, uh, with maturation. He will mature. It will get, will get even uh, more crazy. But absolutely saluted. Uh, and as I mentioned here, in my reckoning, he's gonna be the heaviest guy on stage, right? I'm, 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 I'm reckoning that this guy, bro, will be around 290 easy, 290 Dallas. He is 290 now, so I think he will be at that weight, more or less, on the stage. He will be the big talk of, of the event when it comes to the quote-unquote um, newbies, in a sense, the youngsters, right? Uh, anyway, uh, proper salute to a gentleman who will not be there. So this is a little extract uh, from his uh, documentary, Do Not Be Shocked. So it is indeed Mr. Dennis Wolf. I think this was like two months after uh, pretty much his surgery. Uh, the documentary, by the way, is named Gains Lost. Gains Lost. As you guys know, I made a video about him back in the day uh, when I mentioned his surgery and he has lost a lot of weight and so on and so forth. So this is... The, the aftermath, in a sense. There he is. Um, uh, this is just the bump in the road. Uh, 
there we go let me remove the music so yeah admittedly you know way smaller right was a shocker of a video we did not see him like this since ever actually. we've never seen him like this but he will bounce back definitely it is as just a bump in the road right and uh we hope to see him quite soon hopefully i don't know next year i don't think he'll make it uh at the olympia europe quite improbable if you ask me but we'll see what's up right we'll see uh what is up it's just a bump in the road but this guy is a fighter is a champion and when he dials in he's pretty much the most dialed up dude um on on that stage tell you that much right what do we have uh we have uh, mr koala joshua uh, lenartowitz right uh, this was a pretty much uh, more or less a week out uh, uh, like two or three days ago uh, it's already uh, in the US I think uh, good luck to mr. Josh and finally uh, my American friends since it is uh, out there now you know what let me share with you the LUI who just won versus vegan gains out of vegan gains and Louis Marco who do you think looks better and why pick two I say vegan gains. Okay. He, yeah. I think um, Louis Marco. Louis Marco. Louis Marco. That is a proper choice. I think the body is better, but uh, Louis Marco, I like him better because his skin and his body just looks better to me. Okay. I like the tone of his skin and his body just 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 right. Okay. So like. <laughs> I think. Louis Marco looks a Louis lot Marco? better. better. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Um, I think Louis Marco looks a lot better. Right. I think he's a lot more built. Sorry about than that. The... I agree with her. You agree with everything she said? Yes. So you both are going with Louis Marco? Yes. Okay. Louis Marco. Louis Marco. He's like a little too big. Um, I'll probably go with Louis Marco. Yeah, okay. Think... Proper. <laughs> Proper. So, well, I like the hat. Nice. <laughs> so, Louis Marco. I'm a vegan and I... Oops, that's what's up. So you guys recognize him? He's known on YouTube. His name is Train to Look Good Naked. Uh, that's what's up. So to whatever you is a uh, video uh, fully available on his channel. Uh, lastly, as I mentioned, not fitness related whatsoever. But allow me to to share this with you guys. And again, as I mentioned here uh, to my American friends, you know what? I have no dog in this fight. I'm not even American. Do you even Canadian? You know, I'm like your northern neighbor i have no dog in your fight but with all due respect bros i mean your your pre uh, presidential candidate is not loyal her health is absolutely oil not sure if hillary or hillary not the first episode of her being sick i mean today literally she collapsed in nyc in the 9-11 celebration and she blamed it on uh, on basically uh whatever it was too hot come on it was merely warm come on to look at people are wearing like jackets right so i mean come on look at this i mean it's just worrying proper legs day legs day do occur probably it's gonna fall probably look at that absolutely no salute upon thee there we go huh do you even have injury i mean she has you know pneumonia according to a lot of you guys because she coughs on it daily uh she has some episode that looks like freaking seizures when she hears like uh, you know big noises i don't know guys as i mentioned you know what it's up to you guys but then again you're like the the most powerful country in the world so we are all concerned you might as well be in the philippines in the middle east in europe you are the leading country so if you choose a president who is not loyal who has a health that is absolutely oil it's risky business for us all that's what's up tell me what you guys uh think about this and absolutely salute you on a nightly uh, uh, bruh that's what's up properly uh, executed